In this problem, we have a simple beam or beam that is resting on two points with a length of 10 meters and has a uniformly distributed load or Q of five kilonewtons per meter. We want to create the shear and moment diagram and determine what the max shear force will be and the max moment will be. To help us through this problem, I have made a diagram of the beam with the distributed load to the left. For your reference, I have placed a key with all the values at the bottom of the screen. So let's start off by finding the total force on the beam. Recall that we can get the total force on the beam by taking the Q, which is 5 kN per meter of beam, times the total length of the beam, L, which is 10 meters. This gives us a total load acting down of 50 kN. The distributed load can be graphed by setting the value of Y equal to negative 5. We notice that the force acting on the hinge support on the left and the rolling support on the right must each account for half of the total force on the beam. The two forces up must combine to cancel out the uniform load pushing down in order to keep this beam from not moving. Because the load is uniformly distributed across the entire beam, the load must evenly be distributed between these two supports. This is all represented by Q times L over 2. So we can take the total load, which is 50 kN, and divide by 2 to get 25 kN for each of the support's loads. Now we can create a graph with the shear force, which is abbreviated as a letter V, as we move along the beam. So to the left, we have a force pushing up with 25 kN of force, which is the hinge point pushing up. As we go to the right, the shear force is decreased by 5 kN per meter away from the left hinge point. You can think of this as the upward force from the support is slowly getting canceled out by the uniform load. Looking at this graph, we can see that the maximum shear force is equal to the load on the support, which is 25 kilonewtons. We can graph this function by using the equation 25 kilonewtons from the support minus x, which is the distance in meters from the support, times the distributed load, which is 5 kilonewtons per meter. Notice that this graph is the integral of y equals negative 5, which is y equals negative 5x plus c, our c or constant being the shear force from the leftmost support, which is 25 kilonewtons. We use the constant rule in calculus to integrate. Now if we integrate or find the area between the equation line and the x-axis of the shear force diagram, we get the moment diagram equation line. But first, looking at this graph for the shear force, where would you expect the point where the maximum moment would be? Keep in mind that we add the shear force diagram area up to the point where the shear force is negative. Did you guess that the point is where the line intersects the x-axis? If you did, you were correct. Once again, if we integrate the shear force equation, or in other words, find the area between the line and the x-axis, we get the equation for the line of the moment diagram. To further drive this point in, I have placed a red point on the moment diagram equation line. This red point represents the area on the shear diagram up to that point. So the area is added up up until we go below the x-axis and are negative. Once it is negative, we subtract this area when adding up the area. We use the power rule to do the integration. The formula is 25 times x minus 1 half times 5 times x squared. We could plug our position of 5 meters at the max point into this equation to find the max moment. However, let's take a step back and prove geometrically what the equation is for the moment max. We want to find the area of the triangle above the x-axis. The area formula for a triangle is 1 half base times height. We have a height in our case of q times l over 2, and a base of half the length because the triangle is above the x-axis until half of the length of the beam. This means that the area is adding up to get to the max point up until half the length of the beam. Plugging these values into the area of a triangle formula, we get that the max moment will be q times l squared over 8. Plugging in all of our numbers, we get a max moment of 62.5 kilonewton meters. In case for some reason you need to find the moment at any other point, you can use the equation q times x over 2 times l minus x to get the moment at the designated x position. This can be found by taking the equation for the shear force and applying the power rule in calculus. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. 
Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.